So how do you start an ATM business? Now, I've personally always wondered this because every single time I use an ATM outside, I'm like, wow, if this was my ATM, I could be making money just by having people like come use my ATM just for the simple fact of convenience because they don't have any cash on them. So like all of these videos that I make on how to start a specific type of business, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what to expect when you start this business. It's like the startup costs, the expenses, the profit, the challenges, and every single thing that you can do to actually get this business started in the best in the best way possible honestly and not just like me telling you like oh you do this you do that but actually giving you guys the suppliers the cost of everything because like my last video i think that was yesterday where i told you guys like hey this is how you start a gumbo machine and i told you guys exactly where to get it exactly the price i want to make sure with all of these videos on starting a business that you guys have all the information you possibly need because a lot of youtubers out there are just telling you like hey just start this or start that and start this and you're and you're like sitting down and you're like okay so how do I do that exactly? How do I get started? So rather than having you having to figure all that out, I want to make sure that I give you guys all the information right now. So for the first part is how much money does it actually take to actually start this business? We like to call that in business, the startup costs. That means like how much money does it cost to start the ATM business? How much money does it cost to actually buy the ATM? How much money does it cost for every single thing out there? So rather than tell you guys an estimate, I'm actually going to call Cardtronics. And if you don't know who Cardtronics is, Cardtronics is one of the number one distributors of ATMs out there. And this is the cool thing about Cardtronics, right? Cardtronics provides you an ATM. Remember, it's always new. You always want to buy a new ATM because if you buy one from Craigslist, next thing you know, that person is stealing people's credit card information by having some fraudulent stuff installed in that ATM. Next thing you know, it breaks down or anything like that. And it's going to cost you more money than it actually makes you. So you don't want that. You want to make sure you get something new. So go to Cardtronics and they hook you up right with the ATM and they also hook you up with a back office. If you don't know what a back office is, that's basically, for example, right? You're probably asking yourself, Tommy, if I have an ATM, how would I know when I have to go in and reload it? How would I know how much transactions are happening? How would I know that the location is actually working? The way you actually do it, when you buy an ATM from Cardtronics, they send you like texts, they send you an entire list and you can actually go online and check this out and it tells you like, hey, you had this many transactions this month, this many transactions this week. Hey, your ATM is running low on money. You have to go and refill it. And it tells you all this stuff. So it's not like a guessing game anymore, but it's kind of like you have control over everything, which is very specific, right? So I'm going to actually go ahead and call Cartronics. This is a phone number. It's also in the link down below. So don't worry if you don't know the phone number. You don't have to pause the video. It's down there below. We're going to call them. Hopefully, they're still like available and if they're not i know the price for the atm so i might as well just tell you but let's try to call them so we can get the information straight from the horse's mouth thank you for calling cartonics this is amber how can i help you hey is your name amber yes oh awesome amber my name is um tommy i'm just calling in today about some information about the atms and stuff like that okay are you a technician or no, I'm an independent business, so I want to start the ATM business. I want to start, like, putting ATMs around my neighborhood and stuff like that. Okay. So what I will have to do, um, our sales team is actually out for the day, so I can go ahead and send them over an email with your information, and they can get in contact with you tomorrow. Is that okay? Yeah, that's awesome, Amber. But can you – do you, do you have, like, some estimates for the prices and stuff like that? Like, some, like, estimates. It doesn't have to be, like, specific. Like, for the average um, ATM and stuff like that. Honestly, I have no idea. They so – even though that call wasn't successful, I want you guys to understand something, right? Whenever you're calling anyone, this is just a tip, by the way, make sure you always use their first name, make sure you're always nice and cordial, and make sure you're always trying to find solutions for everything, right? But here's my thing, right? We didn't get the exact price for the ATM, but I personally know how much the ATM actually costs because I know the model of everything, and I made sure I did my research, right? The ATM costs around $2,200, and it holds around sixteen dollars to $24,000 at any time. So if you have that amount of money, that's cool, right? But don't get scared, guys, because that's not that's not how much money you actually need to actually get started. So let me explain, right? So first of all, let's get our calculators out because you guys know I like to do the math for everything, right? So say the average, and let's go high, right? Let's always go high because maybe the expense is high. So if you prepare for something high and it's lower, then you're good. But if you prepare for something that's lower and then it ends up being more, then you're probably screwed, right? So let's say the average ATM price is around $2,200, by the way, the ATM model and everything is going to be down there. So don't worry about it, right? You need $2,200 to actually buy the ATM, but you don't need to buy an ATM. And this is my main thing, right? 
you don't need to buy an ATM until you assure a customer. What does this mean, Tommy? What does it mean that we don't need to buy an ATM until we assure a customer? What this means is whenever you plan on getting into this business, if you do, well, what you have to do is you go, for example, I saw this salon in my neighborhood and this salon is always busy, right? So I can imagine that maybe sometimes people come in with a card and they need to swipe and they don't take credit cards, you know? It's a cash business. So maybe they might need an ATM in that business, right? So I might go in there and I might tell the, the business owner, I might say, hey, are you interested in having a free ATM installed here? You don't have to worry about maintenance or anything. Anything, we handle everything. And on top of that, for the convenience of having the ATM, you also get paid for having this ATM here installed for free. And she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, are you serious? Wow, 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 right? It's gonna work, right? So when she tells me, okay, 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 and we sign a contract going month to month and also giving me the right at any time to actually remove my ATM if it's not working, then we can assure and order the ATM on the phone. So you don't have to buy an ATM and then start looking like crazy. You can just wait until you have a guaranteed customer that signed a contract, then you can order the ATM and actually have it installed into that business, right? So that's the round, so let's pull up our calculator again, right? So say you did your research, you have a customer, blah, 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 and that costs around $2,200, right? You only really need, and this is my main thing, right? You only really need around $2,000 to start, right? Maybe $2,000, even $1,000. Because remember, right? The money isn't really ever being spent. It's just being recycled. You put the money in, somebody takes it out, it goes straight to your bank account in around 24 hours. And that's about it, right? And then you just put it right back in. So it doesn't matter. Don't worry. And by the way, be very careful when you're reloading ATMs because it's very, you know, you have to be careful with everything. So always be on guard and always be aware. So you only need around $2,200 for the ATM and you need around another $2,000 for the actual money that you're actually going to load into it. You do need another, you need to, you do need a couple other things and I'm going to include this. So that's like around maybe let's say like $500 extra. And this is like to actually form an LLC, actually get a lawyer, actually create contracts and all these things. All these things are important, guys, because, and by the way, when I say a contract, I mean creating a contract that um, actually go, when you go to the business owner, you say, hey, um, you're going to be locked in for every month, month to month. And the reason I say month to month and not yearly is because no one wants to be locked into a contract for so long. It's not... It's not feasible these days, right? Yeah, and that's basically it. That's all it really takes to start your own ATM business. So you get your contracts, you get the ATM, you get your customer, and by the way, also get a business account because it's very important to have a business account so you can keep your money separate from what the business is making. And when you register your company as an LLC, make sure you register it in maybe Florida or 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 or, 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 or Wyoming or any of those states. Why? Why, Tommy, would I register those businesses in that state? Well, because you get a lower tax because those companies those states don't really charge that much tax. So, and by the way, you don't have to be operating the business in that state to actually register it in that state. So don't worry about that either. I got you covered. So now that you know that the startup cost is around $4,700 to actually start your own ATM business, you're probably asking me, Tommy, well, what are the monthly expenses on this business, right? Because it has to have some type of expense, right? Well, remember when I told you that when you're actually negotiating with that business owner to actually get the ATM installed for free, you're actually going to have to give them a cut of the profits. So that's kind of an expense too. And that's a commission. So don't worry. It's a commission. So you get to deduct that from your taxes as your profits. So you don't get taxed on the whole thing, you get taxed on the profit that you actually made after you deduct that, right? So don't worry, I got you covered. Now, say for example, most people out there, they go from um, 25% to 35% all the way to 65%. What does this mean? That sometimes depending on the foot traffic that that business is getting, by the way, foot traffic means the amount of people that are coming into the business. If there's a lot of people, between four to 8% of the people that come in are probably gonna use the ATM. So it's very good, right? So say for example, the average business has around 150 people coming in. Um, let's do 0 0.04. So let's say six people use that ATM and you're charging like um three dollars. That's um eighteen dollars that day times thirty. Well, the ATM made five hundred forty dollars, and that's on the old, and that's and that's on the low end. It could be like it could be like twice or double or triple that depending on where you put it in, right? But back to the expenses, right? So you have to pay this business owner around maybe twenty five to thirty five, maybe even forty five percent. And if you put it in a specific location, for example, right, one of the highest earning locations for ATMs is probably a gentleman's club, and that's like a strip club. If you don't know what a strip club is, right? And the reason is because everyone in that place needs cash to actually operate, so they don't really care if you have to pay like seven dollars or even eight dollars to use an ATM because it's like a premium thing. You know, everyone wants to go in there and just be baller get the money and then be out you know what i'm saying so you can load up your atm there and charge like seven to eight dollars and since it's so and, and since it's such a high foot traffic location and other people actually want to take part into the business you can offer like hey 
I'll give you 60% of the money or maybe even 50% of the money and I'll take the other 50%, right? And that's how you do it. You, you, you actually create your own commission. Just don't be greedy because other people can actually notice that you're being greedy. And remember, you're negotiating with business owners, so they're not stupid. You know, they have their own business. Now, the second expense is the internet for the actual ATM. You didn't know that, huh? And basically, if you don't know this, right, every ATM uses internet to actually load everything up because remember every time somebody swipes and they use the internet to actually check if that person has money into their account or they're not and they get rejected or they get declined and when that happens you get sent a text all that stuff happens with internet if you want you can use cardtronics to actually do everything like install the internet and everything like that and they only charge you around 0.20 i think what is it like 0.20 cents per each transaction, so that's not that bad. But also, if you want, you can just get your own modern, your own modern and your own internet installed on the ATM. So for example, if you go to T-Mobile or AT&T, that's gonna charge you like 20 bucks and then you can put that modern there and you can connect it to the ATM and then that's it, it works perfectly. So the expenses of the ATM is just really like the 20 bucks monthly for the internet and then the 35% that you have to pay, maybe even 25, maybe 35, depending on when you put it in to that business owner. So you can actually, operate the business and that's around it there's not that many charges now let's talk about everybody's favorite thing which is the profits tommy how much money am i gonna make off of this atm well if you were listening i told you that the average business like maybe between four to eight percent of every person that comes in right they use the atm remember you want to install these atms in places that have a lot of foot traffic and are cash businesses like for example a barber shop cash business i never seen in one barbershop that takes cars not allowed um strip clubs gentlemen clubs um what else like pizza places like all of these things like they're very useful right and even college campuses and bars like oh my gosh they're killer remember when you put it in like a bar or something like that where people are kind of like you know a little a little flimsy you could set it like from three dollars to maybe four five six seven eight dollars so people won't even care because all they really care about is convenience, getting that cash so you can continue their party. So for example, let's say the average business has a foot traffic in New York, by the way, I'm talking about New York. I don't know where you live. If you live in Kansas and like the average business gets like three customers a day, not a good idea to put ATM there. But say for example, you get 300 people coming in and out every single day out of this business, right? So 300 people, all right, 300 people. And say for example, also that 8% of the people that come in use the ATM, right? So we timed that by 0.08%. Now we got 24 people, right? Now, listen to this, right? Guys, the average ATM cost, I mean, the average ATM charge, we call that subcharge in the ATM business, is only around $3, right? You're probably saying, Tommy, that's not a lot, right? But check this out. So we have 24 people using the ATM every single day per transaction. And by the way, the average ATM transaction is around $60. So it's a lot. I'm going to do the math for that too because I want to make sure I cover everything. So we got 24 people coming in. We are charging them $3 per um, per transaction. That's around $72 a day. And we do the same for around an entire month. We times that by 30 for 30 days, one month. We're getting like $2,000 every single month from that ATM. Say, for example, you install five more ATMs in like five different locations because you're not going to put it in the same location to be competing with your own ATM. Does it make sense? We times it by five. Well, that's ten thousand eight hundred dollars. You're you're in the you're in the five figure income every single month. But here's the question, right? You're probably saying, Tommy, I get that because you're not dumb, right? I know you guys are not dumb, and you're probably telling me, Tommy, I get that. But how much money is is gonna be in that ATM so that, that can actually happen? Because I don't have that much capital, bro. I don't have a hundred thousand dollars. So how much money can I actually put into this thing? So for example, remember I told you that Cardtronics provides a back office. So Every time you put in like $2,000, right, and it's running out, you get a text and it tells you, hey, go reload. You know what I'm saying? And you can just go and you can just reload it and use the same money because you're just recycling the money. You're not actually spending any money. So, for example, say we do the same thing, right? 300 times 0 0.08, we get 24 people. Say those 24 people on average to take out like 60 bucks. So, we times this by 60. So that's around $1,440 that have been withdrawn from an ATM that day. So that's practically means that every single day, you're actually going to have to refill that ATM. But on average, guys, on average, because, you know, it says $60, but most of the time people are just taking like 20 bucks, 10 bucks, you know what I'm saying? So, so let's make it 24 times 10, like not even 10, 24 times 20 bucks being taken out. That's only $480. Well, you reload it with $2,000. We divide 2000 divided by 480. Well, we get four 
days, basically, right? Four days of business. So every four days you go in and you put in the money. And remember, since you made profits, I think it's $72 per day, right? Since you made profits, you just put that money in there too and just keep doing it over and over and over again, right? So now that you know what the startup cost is, which I think, which I think is like $4,700, and you know what the expenses are, which I think are like $40, $50, because it's not that much. And now that you know what the profits are, which depend on the location, now you're probably asking me, Tommy, what are the challenges to this business, right? And it makes sense. You're very smart for asking that question. I admit it. And here's the thing, right? It's a hard business to get into. And the reason is because banks have actually started putting ATMs all around the area. For example, if you go on my blog, there's like a chase there, a chase down there, a chase everywhere, and every single store has an ATM, right? But not every single store has an ATM because there's a whole bunch of new businesses actually happening every single day, and you can still manage to get something in, right? So for example, remember, business is business. It's like the wild, it's like the jungle. So for example, if I go into like, um, say for example, uh, a strip club, right? And I know people are going to be using that ATM like crazy in that strip club, right? Because people are always wanting cash when they go to the strip club and it's going to be crazy, right? And even in a bar or whatever, right? And there's already an ATM there. I would go in and I would say this, right? This is how you negotiate, guys. If you don't know how to negotiate, watch some of my videos and just read some books because that's how you get negotiation skills, right? But for example, I go in and I say, hey, um, I noticed you have an ATM we actually, and remember, make sure you get like shirts printed out like with your logo and stuff like that so you look like professional, you know, like a real business, even though like you're really not, like you're just one person. And you just be like, yeah, yeah, um, hey, how are you doing? I, said, I noticed you have like an ATM there and I'm just wondering like how does it operate for you guys because we're actually in the ATM business also and I have employees and everything that can come here, actually install the ATM for free and most likely offer you a better cut than your provider is. So you probably ask like, hey, how much are you, how much are you getting for that ATM? They'll probably say like, hey, um, we're getting like 30%, like 30, 40%. And I say like, wow, are you serious? 30, 40%? You see, that's great. But, um, and I noticed that this ATM is kind of like an older model. So, and I know you care about your customers because you're always talking to that person to fix their problem, never about you. Remember that, right? So you say like, hey, and I noticed that the ATM is probably like an old model. And you know, old models, like they can have some privacy issues and like some fraudulent issues, right? And I know that you care about your customers a bunch, right? And how about this, right? We actually have the new models in our company. We can actually come in as soon as like in one to two weeks, install this new ATM, give you a 50% subcharge, which means that you get 50% of the money that is actually, is actually swiping, that actually gets swiped there, right? Because hey, it's your business and you're bringing in the customers and we're just trying to help convenience and it doesn't really matter. And by the way, this new ATM is gonna provide you with the optimal security. So you can be happy knowing that your customers are safe, right? And that's kind of like my sell pitch, you know? Remember, don't do all this nice stuff. If you go in there, go in like a vulture and be like, hey, I'm trying to get this guy out of there. So you can actually, there's competition everywhere, but if you offer better prices, I guarantee you that business person is just gonna be like, all right, get him out, you're in. You know what I'm saying? And just sign him a contract. Make sure he signs a contract and put him down for like three months or like four months or like even five months, dependent. And if he's not into the whole contract, just do month to month because then, you know, but if you lock him in, it's a, it's a really better price, you know? It's a very better. It's, better. it's very better if you lock him in. Now, guys, my name is Simon Bryson. If you don't know me, you know me now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and do all that fancy stuff because every single comment gets the video a thousand views. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it for yourself. Guys, if you like this video, let me know. Make sure you comment down below what other business I should do for, for tomorrow. I post like every day. So if you don't know that, I guess now you know. See you guys later and peace. You've got to start at the bottom.